I'm John Berg. I'm the owner of the gallery. I'm Emily Clark. I am the marketing manager and social media manager. I'm Dan Tehan. I'm the custom picture framer and art consultant, resident artist as well. I attended the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale and I have an Associate of Science degree in Advertising Design. And I've been a practicing artist for about 50 years, uh, a practicing picture framer for about 40 years. Now, I'm a CPA, so of course that's why I opened an art gallery. But I started serving on some boards, some art, uh, nonprofit artist organizations. Uh, uh, my daughter, Melissa, went to school for studio arts. I started getting more involved and more interested in the art gallery business as a business. And uh, we decided to open a location in Winston-Salem. I guess it was about two and a half years ago and uh, we were downtown. We have decided to kind of come to Summerfield because we feel like our style, what we offer, is uh, more conducive to a community um, that will support the arts, you know, and um, find, you know, that we have interesting things popping up all the time. I think we're very eclectic. I think um, one of the things we really strive for at the other gallery uh, was always being different. You know, if you came in our gallery uh, June for the opening mm -hmm. and then came back in July, you would see a lot more different art, different merchandise. Uh, and we really want to focus very much on the community, so we're really focusing on uh, a maker club um, and a kids' uh, fun paint classes on a regular basis and adult classes and I think we will also offer serious art instruction. We hope to have lots of people in here enjoying the gallery and doing things in the gallery. Uh, yeah, we're excited about that. When I was teaching at Salem College, one of the things that I, uh, the nonprofit uh, program, one of the students was say, saying he was going to open up a maker club. And I was like, what's that? He says, well, that's a place that they have the tools and materials, but it's a social um, activity. So people can talk amongst themselves about what they're doing and what they're making. Our Maker Club will be a little different. Uh, we'll do projects. Uh, we'll do projects suitable for kids, uh, suitable for adults, and also suitable for, you know, mom and daughter or son and dad or whole families. It'll be some, something where we have the equipment that you need to produce, you know, elaborate vinyl um, uh, stick-ons, uh, uh, materials for the painting or design, you know, all those things that, and, but the big part of it, of course, is going to be the social part of it. I think that once the Maker Club gets started, we'll see a lot of repeat makers coming in. We're going to start slow and easy, and the projects at first will be uh, more geared to the kids, and uh, we, will, we will grow that out so that we probably have two veins of Maker Club, ones that adults really enjoy and uh, are challenging, and ones that kids can enjoy uh, with their parents or as part of a, a kids club. Emily is uh, um, doing a fantastic job getting all that on our, um, our website, but we'll also do a lot of posts on Instagram and Facebook. And then if you come into the shop, you'll see behind the register our next three or four events or classes posted so that you can actually look at you know what the item is going to look like that you'll be making uh, or the painting you'll be making and uh, we'll, we'll probably have examples physical examples of what we'll be doing we're going to try and really put a lot of information out there ahead of time so people can plan so you can either go onto our website at facebookgallery.com and then under our events tab will be a way for you to view all of the events that are upcoming we also have a calendar on the website for you to view the websites for the events that are coming up and then you can click on that and then sign up and you can pay also online as well. So I teach most of the paint classes and I'll be teaching some of the Makers Club uh, classes. I think we do have some other people who will come in and out and help as needed. I'm a student mostly at UNCG. I do sociology there and I have a minor in American Sign Language but I enjoy art a lot as a hobby, as something that's fun for me. Um, I do mostly acrylics. Uh, I also really like photography and then I do a little bit of color pencil. I think painting can be hard because it's one of those things, painting and color pencil is one of those things where it's once it's there, it's there. And if you mess up, it's kind of like you have to really figure out how to finagle it into something that's nice and presentable. Um, and a lot of people think like color pencil is actually something that's really interesting because most people go back to kind of kindergarten days where they just kind of like 
color and lines, um, mm -hmm. and it creates the streakiness. And so, learning how to maneuver that is also really interesting and can be difficult. So, of course, the grand opening is the first event on the fifteenth from uh, noon to six, okay. and we'll, uh, we'll have artists, etc. But the kind of events that we want to have are uh, very much tied to the community. So, uh, probably the most predominant event we'll have is out outdoor art shows. Uh, we'll have maybe five or six artists participate. Uh, it gives our artists an opportunity to show more of their work because uh, there's more space. It also gives patrons a great opportunity to talk with and meet artists in person uh, and learn about their craft, and etc. And the art, it's just a great community feel. But we'll do some uh, other events that are fun, entertaining, you know, uh, live music. These guys will tell you my mind goes kind of crazy when it comes to these kinds of things, but I think we'll do some, you know, karaoke and uh, uh, we'll do some fun things where people can kind of come and party, for lack of a better word. And we'll always have to, we'll always try to have an art theme with it, but um, yeah, we're definitely going to be doing some things where people can come in the evening and um, have fun with their friends. And um, yeah, we're excited about that. We're putting some thought into the July 4th holiday. Uh, one of the things we're very excited about is we have uh, a High Point University intern as part of our group here. Her name is Rachel Rodin and uh, I met her through teaching at High Point University and her degree will be in event planning and so I'm going to give her a couple big things to sink her teeth into but um, Rachel and Emily uh, and I and Dan will talk about what we want to do there but um, it'll definitely be Independence Day themed and we'll probably have a lot of um, you know pieces that people, Americana pieces, uh, patriotic pieces um, and so we're excited because that, that will be a definite theme and people uh, may want to pick up something like that uh, in honor of the country. To make your purchase if you're unable to attend the event or events. So, uh, that would be uh, www.blissfulgallery.com. And one of the things that we want to do is we have of course our uh, um, email and so Dan works great. We've done work for the Chamber of Commerce, for the City of Winston-Salem. Uh, artists were really specialized in jaclay printing uh, for artists but if you want to come in and do a nice print with us our costs are very good. It's great to send us an email and say hey I have a project or I have an idea for framing. Can you give me an idea? Can you send me a price list? Whatever. And we definitely share a lot of information via email. And so that's a great way to get a hold of us. But we're going to collaborate with another business here. It's going to be fun for kids especially, but also fun for adults. And so, um, uh, again, it's going to be very art-themed, activity-themed, but uh, we're excited. We really like our neighbors here in, the, in this space. And Summerfield Square is, you know, a really important revitalization a project for the town of Summerfield and also Oak Ridge. And I think the community is really excited to see this shopping area, the shopping center, uh, be vibrant and be very pretty. You'll notice it's a work in progress when you come to our opening because that work is still progressing and will take months, but our inside will be done mostly.